Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. How long has it been since I filmed a Zara haul? It's been a while. I just weren't feeling Zara at the beginning of this year. Um, I got a little bit bored of them. I felt like their stuff was a little bit samey. And I really feel like they went head first into spring summer clothes, like too early this year. There was like summer dresses in February and I was just, I weren't vibing with it. It weren't, yeah, it was too soon for me. But I had a little look on Zara the other day and do you know what, I'm not tooting my own trumpet here but I genuinely feel like I've picked up some really, really nice pieces and I'm actually very excited about all of them. Like, just from looking at them in the box, there's nothing that I don't like. So, I'm really excited about this haul. It's been a very long time so please do give this video a thumbs up if you like these kind of videos. But yeah, I'm just going to jump right in. Okay, so I've just moved the camera back and I've decided I'm going to film this video as more of a try on haul so I can give you my actual first impressions. I am going to include like try on clips here so that you can see full length. But honestly, I don't have enough space in this room to move the camera far back enough to fit my whole of my body in like this. So yeah, I'm going to film it like this and show you here as well how it all looks. But yeah, starting off with the first item and the top that I'm already wearing, I was just obsessed with this colour. I've got a thing now for bright colours going into spring, summer. This never used to be me. I was very much all about the neutrals, but I think when done right, just a really nice pop of colour, just it just does something. And I love, love, love this top. It was so cheap. I think it was like £6.99. And it's just one of their basics, but they bought them out in these unreal colours. And this orange just really, really caught my eye. And one thing I do really like about orange pieces as well, um, they really do bring out blue eyes and I have blue eyes. Don't know if you're gonna be able to see from where you are, but I just feel like the orange with sort of a nice tan. I really like it with the blue wash denim jeans. These are not from Zara by the way, but I will link them anyway in case you're interested. But um, I just absolutely love this top. I know I'm gonna wear it so, so much. It is stretchy as well. This is my normal size. This is a size small. So yeah, just stay true to size. I personally don't really wear bras. I don't have the biggest of boobs. I know I've mentioned that before, but yeah. So I'm personally going braless with this, but you could easily wear like, um, like a seamless t-shirt bra and I think you'd be absolutely fine. But yeah. I just really, really like it. I thought it was really cute. Oh my God, I was not expecting to love this as much as I do on. This is just lovely. <laughs> there is no other word for it. This little play suit, I mean, is just gorgeous. This is just such an easy daytime throw on. It really reminds me of something that I'd wear during the day on holiday. You know those days on holiday where you just go exploring and you go and be a tourist and you go around the different restaurants, you go around the little shops and you just need to be comfy and cool. This is that outfit for me. I mean, who knows whether we're going to actually get to travel this year, but regardless, I'm in love with this play suit. I've just popped on this cute little blue bag with it. This isn't from Zara, by the way. This is from ASOS. Um, I will link it though again if you're interested. I just think this as a daytime outfit for spring summer is just gorgeous. I'm going to pop some sunglasses on as well because I feel like I just need to see the whole look for myself. Oh, so that is just such a nice daytime outfit. This play suit, the material, it's so lightweight and soft. It's just so comfortable. I love the sleeve length on it. Um, I've mentioned this before, I don't like sleeve lengths that come here. I either want no sleeves or like a long short sleeve, if that makes sense. But I find that when things cut you off here, you go from looking like 13 year old, sophisticated woman. <laughs> so I am just obsessed with this. I got my usual size and stuck to a size small. I'm glad I did because it fits absolutely beautifully. You don't need to size up or size down. And yeah, and I think this was £27.99 as well. So again, you could really dress this up as well. I feel like you could just wear some really nice bright coloured heels, a bright bag, and then you've just got a nice chilled dinner outfit that you're going to be super comfortable in because look how baggy it is. There's a lot of room for food in here and that's always a bonus in my book. So yeah, absolutely love this. Okay, I feel like I've seen a lot of people wearing this dress from Zara and it kind of just sold it to me. And I did not expect to like this dress as much as I actually do. This is just so, so nice for summer. I love it. It's got these like cut out details here and I really, really love how this looks. I love the color. It's just that classic neutral color. Sometimes with wearing dresses this color with the blonde, I say the blonde in my hair. 
I'm so excited to get my hair done guys because I'm practically brunette now but usually with the blonde in my hair if you, if you get the wrong kind of colour neutral it can just wash you out and you just look like one big beige blob as I've mentioned before I love the sleeve length on it it's giving me kind of like a safari vibe I don't know if you're getting that as well I do feel like I'm going on a really posh safari I mean who's going on safari like this but it's that material it's the kind of rustic sort of like neutral material that I really really like the top half is a little bit baggier um, it kind of looks a little bit at a quick glance like a baggy shirt with a little bit of a skirt and honestly it is so rare that I find dresses that I like on me I don't know why I don't feel like comfortable I don't I just don't feel like I look nice in a lot of dresses I don't feel like they do anything for me for my body shape I feel like there's other items I'd rather wear so yeah I did take a bit of a risk with this dress but I think this looks really, really nice. I'm really pleased with it. I'm pleasantly surprised. I think this will be a keep. This was £49.99, so £50 for a dress. But I think if you've got a nice occasion coming up or you just want that nice go-to summer dress, I think £50 is a good price for something like this. Does feel good quality. I think if you were getting it from a different website, maybe from the likes of House of CB, you could be paying double for a dress like this. Um, so I think that's actually really good from Zara. Uh, and this is just a size small as well, um, so I'm size 8 slash small in Zara, um, and this fits me pretty perfectly, I'm pretty happy with that. While I'm here and just loving my outfit and loving myself a bit, I thought I'd quickly show you this bag as well, but just seems to go really, really nice with this dress. Um, it's in, again, this gorgeous, like, naturally nudie colour, um, the material... I can't explain what it is, it's almost like a woven, feels like it should be a basket if that makes sense, but I think you can kind of get that if I bring it up close. And then there's this brushed gold chain for the handle which is just beautiful. You know sometimes you get those gold chains on the on bags and they just look shiny and a bit cheap looking. Brushed gold I feel just adds a little bit more, just makes it look a bit more expensive and it really wasn't. This bag was £29.99 and just the colour and the style of it, I just feel like you're going to get so much wear out of that in spring summer. How cute is that? So even this bag, I think that's just, how nice is that outfit? So yeah, just had to include it. Okay, this shirt is giving me serious like Jacquemus vibes for the grand old price of £30. How just stunning is this shirt? I am pleasantly surprised with this i saw it on the website and i thought right that will either look really really cheap and hideous or really really nice and for 30 pound i was a bit i was in between buying it when this arrived i was so pleasantly surprised i just think this is beautiful this is something that i'd wear maybe even to a nice special barbecue dinner outside in the summer you know the like nice warm evenings the material of it I mean, I'm not sure if you can see there, but it's just, I can't even explain what it is. It's not see-through at all. It kind of like gives that effect as if it would be a little bit see-through. It's not at all. I've not popped a bra underneath this. I've just left it to see what it does. I love this little detail here. It just buttons up here, by the way. So it's just like a really deep V-neck top that buttons here. And then that's covered by this. And I just think it's gorgeous. I've just popped my bag with it as well because I've just feeling all these colours together just so you can get the whole kind of outfit vibe that I was going for. This is giving me an expensive vibe and it was 30 quid so I'm so happy about that. I just love it. This is a size small by the way. I was nearly tempted to go up a size because I, I do like these shirts quite oversized. However, I don't think that would have fit very well because of the low neck. I think if I've got a medium, I don't have much going on under here. So if I'd got a medium, I feel like it would have just been too loose and too baggy. Um, but yeah, just something to bear in mind. If you are um, bigger chested, you could definitely get away with sizing up um, if you wanted like a more oversized look. However, I really like how it kind of like nips in here and gives you that little bit of shape, which you don't get a lot with a lot of shirts. Super, super happy with this. Absolutely love it. Okay, I don't know about you, but I feel like this dress needs a holiday. Just look at the colour of this. I am so obsessed with, I think I'm just obsessed with orange at the minute, but just bright colours in general. And this dress just screams holiday to me. I just feel like I need to go on holiday and go to a nice restaurant, by the beach, with my heels on, my bright orange dress, and just have a really good time. That's all this dress wants to do. It doesn't want to be in England. Real shame I don't have a holiday booked. But I still think I'm going to keep the dress because I just really, really like it. 
Um, I really like the shape of this. I like the kind of like cowl neck. Is that what it's called? Cowl neck? Scoop neck? You know what I mean? It's this gorgeous kind of slinky material, but it's not um, like clinging to your body. It just kind of sits nicely. So you have a little bit of a silhouette, um, but it's not like bodycon, which I really, really like. All my dresses have to take into account eating for me. So bodycons just don't do it for me. I need to be able to eat a meal and not feel self-conscious. But I love this. And the back, again, let's just excuse the pale back. But look at the back of that. It's got the little cross detailing. It's proper, like, scooped really, really low. And for me, I just feel the best in these kind of dresses. My sex appeal is not coming through the chest. So I get mine by showing off the back. So just things like that, they just make me feel really nice because that's where my comfort's at. You can look at me from the back, <laughs> but even the front, I'm just really, really loving. I think nice little strappy heels, glowing tan, nice little bag, you're good to go. This is in a size small as well, so my normal size, and it was £27.99, so £28 for what I think is just a really, really nice like spring summer dress to have in the wardrobe. So yeah, really pleased with that one. Okay, at the moment, I feel like you're seeing this cutout trend everywhere, so... I had to jump on it when I saw this top because I really, really love it. I think it's so just different. You know, you just need a nice top and jeans moment. This is the nice top that you grab. And it was only £11.99. And um, this is a size small as well. And I just think it's so nice. I really love this cutout detail. It does go around the back there. Excuse my pale back, but fake tanning by myself got a bit tricky i think you'd have to be on your best behavior though when you're wearing this top i don't think this is a top that you're going to go for your bottomless brunches in because honestly one fail swoop and i feel like that's just getting pulled down my whole boob is going to be out it's going to be nipped to the wind but yeah they are going to fly the nest and go and get a mortgage if you're not careful so yeah just be aware of that but other than that i think it's a really really nice top just an easy throw on thing to wear um, as I said, I'm really enjoying the cutout detail at the moment. And I feel like there's a lot of these kind of styled tops on Zara at the moment. So yeah, it's a yes from me. I also think this would look really nice with like some leather trousers. Um, and just kind of like really dress it up. But even just day to day, it just makes a, what would be pretty boring top just to look a little bit more interesting. So yeah, this is a yes from me. Okay, next up, and I'm sorry you're not going to get to see much of these in this view. But I am going to put a try and clip here so you will actually be able to see them. But it is these unreal pair of linen blend trousers. Now, they are wide leg and they're just, honestly, they're gorgeous. I love the feel of them. They feel really, really soft, really, really comfortable. And I think anything linen just gives it that instant spring summer feel. I love the colour of them. Even with this orange top, I wouldn't have usually paired these together. But then when I was trying them on and put them on to film this bit, I was like, actually... I quite like how they look with the orange top, so I'm going to leave it. I got these in a size small, my normal size, so I'm usually a size 8. My only critique would be, and this is me being so, so picky, is they're not the perfect fit around the waist. They are a little bit big, but you're buying a pair of off-the-shelf trousers. You know, they're not going to fit everyone exactly the same, so that is just me being picky. They're not going to fall down, so they're absolutely fine, but that's just me being super picky. But I really love these. I know I'm going to wear these so much this year. You can really dress these up and go out for drinks in these if you had a really nice top on with them. You can wear them super casually. I just love things in my wardrobe that I can dress up and dress down and get a lot of wear out of. And the fact that these are only £27.99, again, I feel like if you were to buy these from somewhere else for the same sort of quality, you'd be paying a hell of a lot more than under £30. So yeah, super, super pleased with these. I know I'm going to wear these so much this year. You should already know that I'm a big fan of an oversized blazer. So when I saw Zara doing one in pink, obviously I was going to buy it. And just, I'm just loving the colour of this. The buttons on it are kind of like a bit of a tortoise shell, but it just feels so spring summery to me. I'm not the girliest of girls. I don't, I mean, I've shown a couple of dresses in this haul, but I don't really wear a lot of dresses like day to day. I would much rather wear an oversized blazer. And the one thing I do like about this one is it is actually long enough to wear as a dress. I would put just like a really pretty little bralette on. I've just popped like a sports one on underneath this for now. But yeah, I would also really like to wear this over um, like a unitard or some cycling shorts for a more casual look. 
but yeah you could easily dress this up as well i just think this color it just it just adds something and if you're like me and you do prefer to dress a little bit more towards the boyish side like this just brightening up your wardrobe and adding in like a cheeky little pink blazer so yeah i love this i did go for this in an extra large by the way because i just like my blazers to be super super big and boxy and i was really hoping that it would be long enough so that if i did do it up and kind of like add a bit of a cool belt with it i could possibly wear it with a dress maybe get away with it um if not put some cycling shorts underneath and this was 59.99 so 60 pound which i think is pretty spot on for zara prices i know um i've had it particularly oversized i know it won't be everyone's cup of tea wearing it like this but that's just me personally so it would look just as nice if you got it in your regular size but yeah that's just me i really like this top but i am going to mark it down for being so hard and fiddly to actually get into i feel like i saw a lot of people wearing this last year so this is obviously a shirt that they've bought back um but the way you do it up there are, i don't know if you can see there's like buttons there um so yeah you kind of have to put it on and then you're like this trying to do the buttons and i just found it so fiddly i mean i have just recovered from three broken fingers so doing little buttons like that was just too much stress for me today but i managed to get it on um and yeah i think it's okay i mean i'm not blown away with it i don't know i think it's okay it's a nice enough shirt and for the right occasion i think it will do the job it is really really nice um however i don't know if i'm going to keep it just for the sheer fact that it was so hard to get on i don't know if i want to put myself through that trauma every time i wear it um and yeah and just on i just think it's it's okay but yeah i don't think it's anything special but just for reference this was 29.99 so 30 pound and I just much prefer the other shirt that I showed you earlier, to be honest. I feel like this this does just feel a little bit too much like last year. I think I just saw too many people wearing it last year, and now I'm just not too fussed. But yeah, it's okay. Um, but yeah, 29 99 This is a size small, and um, you can see the back there as well. But yeah, I think it's just okay, but I'm not in love with it you know i wouldn't be i wouldn't miss it if it wasn't in my wardrobe again really sorry you're not gonna get the full effect seeing them like this but these trousers oh my god i am actually obsessed with them they are just these really nice floaty wide leg again these feel like a proper holiday piece i feel like i'd wear these so much out on holiday i just love these i feel like these again very barbecue outfit very comfy daytime just so many ways you can wear these kind of trousers they did have a matching shirt but to be completely honest i wasn't feeling the shirt and trousers together i felt like they looked a little bit like pajamas no shade to anyone but yeah that's just the vibe they were giving me so i'd much prefer to wear some trousers like this with maybe a top like this a crop top i just prefer when i've got something wide leg on the bottom i prefer to have something a bit more fitted and tight on the top just to balance out the silhouette i feel like it's just much more flattering on me and in case you're wondering i am five foot eight so it can sometimes be a struggle to actually get trousers that are long enough so i'm absolutely over the moon that these pretty much brush the floor but yeah just something to bear in mind if you are on the more petite side that these might drown you and might be super super long but I just love these for this time of year. I just can't get over how comfy they are. Elasticated waist, which is just even better. So yeah. And that is everything I've got to show you for this Zara haul. Really hope you enjoyed that video. It's been such a long time since I filmed one. So I really, really liked all the things I picked up. But yeah, let me know what you think. Let me know what your favourite was. Um, if you could, please give this video a thumbs up um, and subscribe. That would mean the world. But yeah, as always, see you in the next one. Bye.